Hey guys, I'm back home. Shooby doo, I'm home. Hello, we got pizza. Shooby doo, we're here. Here we are for the water weight. Hey, buy my merch. It's down. Click below. Here we go. Papa John's, hello, hello, and this is hot and steamy, cause we are eating Lent version meat-free pizza. You guys, this is Lent, yay. Oh, it's follow my Instagram at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. No, seriously, buy my merch. If you have water weight like me, just wear it proudly. I have sweatshirts that go all the way up to 5XL, iPhone cases, and all that kind of stuff, so it's down below if you want it. Today, I'm feasting on Papa John's. Now, this is not all for me. I'm gonna share it with my family, so before everyone's calling me a piggy wiggy because I'm so selfish and greedy, this is actually for my whole family. But I'm gonna try, like, two slices of each and then give everything to them. So this one here, like I was saying, is a Lent version. This is meat-free, and it's an Alfredo four cheese pizza with extra cheese and no sauce. So this is a white pizza. <gasps> yes. My mom wanted white pizza, so I got her white pizza. This one here has pepperoni, olives and cheese, pineapple, and everything, as you can see, comes with the yummy, yummy, famous Papa John's garlic sauce. Oh, so good, oh my gosh. All right, so that one goes, well, let's put this here on top for just a minute. I better not fly off. What's this one? Let's find out. Oh, this one is the Meat Lovers. Oh, I got the deal. It was by two for $15. They were seven seventy something each. So this one, uh, for one topping. So this one topping is sausage, cheese and sausage. And this one, I'm pretty sure is pepperoni. You can't have pizza without the pepperonis. Yes. Oh, <laughs> this one is my favorite, if I can say so myself. So you guys, uh, grab some food. Let's feast together. We have a whole lot to talk about. I'm going to keep you company while you're feasting. I'm your hashtag pocket gay, here to help you out with your life's challenges. No, I'm not. Anyways, get some food. Here we go. This one is most impressive. So this one goes right here. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. And let's begin. Okay, so this, like I said, what did I say? This, it, oh, their dough is so doughy. Here, let me try to show you really nice and slow. Oh, their dough is so good. They pop it. I was like, maybe it's rosacea, maybe it's eczema. Maybe it's cheese mindset. Stop chasing zebras. You're so obsessive. Stop it being so extreme. I'm like, Mom, it's not like I woke up today and saw this and said, Ah, I'm cancer. Help me. No. I want your... Oh, this is good. There's something sweet about this. I said, Mom, I wanted your... Prof I didn't say that, but I was thinking to myself, I want your professional opinion. You're a nurse. Maybe you had an idea, because Orla and I can't figure out what it is. No dermatolo dermatologist in Columbia has been able to tell us. My mom's like, it looks like you rubbed, rubbed yourself while shaving. I'm like, mom, I've had this for months and months and months and months. I didn't have it when I was vegan. I didn't have it when I was raw vegan. I don't have it when I'm paleo or ketogenic. I only eat it, I only get it when I eat dairy, right here. It's nasty. And she like, she's like, oh, it looks like a skin irritation. Stop being obsessive. I'm like, okay, that's the last time I asked you for something. I'm not, am I? No, I'm not going to, I mean, I haven't seen you for two years. She probably thinks I woke up with this and thought, oh, I told her I've been going through this. She's like, you're chasing zebras. Because first we had to talk about my hypoplysemia. I told her that I probably have it. She's like, oh, you're exaggerating. No, you don't. Well, according to my mom, too, I'm the same size as before. When she saw me, she's like, you don't look any bigger. I'm like, do I have to lift up my shirt and go like this? She's like, you don't look, oh, you look the same. I see a little bit in your cheeks. Other than that, your body looks the same. I'm like, what were you looking at? 
Uh, see, that's so that woman that told me that is the same one been telling me <laughs> not to worry about anything. <laughs> Anyways, no, oh, that really pisses me off. And we're driving. She goes, you know, I love Orland so much more than you. I was like, as I'm driving to pick up pizza for everyone. Yeah, you're too dramatic. I like him better. He's nicer. I'm like. Maggie, I'm about to go drive to get us pizza. I, I'm not mean. Yeah, I didn't say that, but he's nicer. She's met him once. <clears throat> I mean, he is nicer, but still, even if it's true, you don't say, like, you don't, it's like one of those things where you start saying but, but, but during an apology. An apology has to be an apology. Like, even if you believe that, don't bring up. How much you love someone else better as I'm literally being nice to you. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Any mini mini mo. Yeah, Papa John's has very doughy, doughy pizzas. That's I did that famous pizza test, right? And that's why I remember saying, Papa John's is the doughiest. Mmm. Oh, it's very chewy. But in a good way. Mmm. Different from any other pizza place. It's chewier. Mmm. What's your favorite pizza place? Comment down below. I, I wish I could combine these. I want that sweet barbecue sauce with pepperoni and the five cheese. That That's the perfect pizza right there. Five cheese. It's like a Lent version. It's a specialty for Lent. I don't know. Set it on its website. So good. Okay, so now I'm going to take up the pieces to my fam family. They're probably going to leave one piece of each for me, and then I'll eat one piece of each, and then they have the rest. <clears throat> mm. Mm. I wonder if everyone wants their own garlic. I don't think my mom does. I mean, I don't know. You never know. Everyone's always changing, you know. My mom's always been on lots of diets. I mean, but the last time they saw me, I was eating, like, 12 banana smoothies. So, like, you know, things change. <laughs> I said, next time you see me, I might be a twig. The next time you see me, I might be have a TLC special, Mom. You never know where life will take you. Hmm. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. I will be right back, everyone. Everything. All right. So just take whatever you want. What's that ham? That's ham and pineapple, right? That sausage? Sausage? Yes. With barbecue sauce. Yes. Inst instead of regular sauce. Yes. It's, that's my favorite. That's really good. Yes. Well, I'm just gonna leave the pizzas here, and then I'm just gonna take one of each and take it downstairs. Which one do you want? Cheese. Cheese is this bottom one. That's for you and mom. Here, so I have my, this is what I'm gonna finish here in this box. So as you saw, I went upstairs and I was like, Mama, I, I didn't like how you said that. And she's like, you're being so sensitive. You were the sensitive one. I don't know, it just really bothers me. That's all I'm just... <clears throat> mm. 
My mom's the type that thinks she knows everything. And if you have to, if she feels like she has to, she gets exasperated very easily. Like, oh, okay, or, oh, I, I know. Well, okay, you're so sensitive. You know, just she gets very easily irritated. And it's one thing that's always bothered me about her. Um, I haven't been home for two years. Like, talk to me. And she thinks she's right, so she's very stubborn about it. For example, she thought I didn't have to pay taxes. She's like, you live, in, you lived in Colombia. You shouldn't have to pay taxes. I'm like, Mom, I'm a U.S. citizen. She goes, So you weren't here, Nick. You don't know what you're doing. I was like, Mom, of course I know what I'm doing. I'm married to a Colombian who has family both inside the U.S. and outside the U.S. His mom's a U.S. citizen, but she travels back and forth. You think she knows what she's doing? You've never even left the U.S. What do you? And she, and she, she literally thought I shouldn't pay taxes. Oh wait, no, she went to Mexico for her honeymoon. I'm sorry. I mean, like live, like I could live in Switzerland my whole life. If I'm making income in U.S. dollars as an American citizen, I have to pay tax on it. Maybe I'm overly sensitive today. I really miss Orlin a lot. I just want to be with him. Yeah, actually yesterday and today have been... So here's the thing. I came here for a couple days. I went to Las Vegas. I was on my own, doing my own thing in Las Vegas. No one bothering me. I had my collabs, blah, blah, blah. Then I came home for a couple days. Then I went to Carly's house. Did my collabs, had fun, came home. Now I've been home for a while. And now it's starting to be like, oh. This isn't fun. I mean, it's not supposed to be fun. I'm supposed to be deported. This is like detention. But, but it hasn't, um, it's just felt like fun this whole time. Now, I mean, that's how it is when you go home with your family. Most families don't get along. No one's family's perfect. But, actually, surprisingly, this has been a really good trip. There's been no fights, no arguments, nothing. It's just little things like this, like her being that way bothers me. Um, and then when I bring it up to her, she said, just says I'm sensitive. It could be way worse, though. <clears throat> Oops, my dad's cool. He's chill. <laughs> Orlin loves my dad for those reasons. He looks like he's just nice and easygoing. He doesn't ask you 50 million questions about things that aren't his business like my mom does. Don't get me wrong, it's not that Orlin doesn't like my mom. He thinks she's hilarious. She's very funny in her own way. Like, I told my mom, I was like, okay, so what if something happens to you? I'm in Colombia. Um, what happens if you like get Alzheimer's or dementia and you go downhill real fast? Who's paying for that? Like, where do you go? Do you have life insurance? Well, that's for death. Do you have like, insurance to cover nursing home expenses and like what wh what's the plan you know i'm an adult now all your kids are adults and i ask her and she's like oh i'm not talking about this right now or um two times well, last time i came home which was two years ago i asked about hey dude mom and dad do you have wills my mom's like you just want our money i'm like no i'm just wondering as an adult child do you have wills? And they don't have wills. And actually, they brought up this time that they're going to do it. They've been kicking their feet, dragging their feet. And they're in their, in their 60s, though. Um, you really need to. I was like, Mom, everything you worked hard for, will 30% will automatically go to Trump. Is that what you want? 
And she really hates them. So if I put it in that way, I'm like, it'll go to Trump. She's like, no. <laughs> Not him directly, but you know, the government will take it. Hmm. This is like a whole large pizza. If I put all these together, my favorite is, oh, it's so hard to pick a favorite. They're all so good. Excuse me. Mm. I miss Orlin. I miss fruits and vegetables. They're more affordable where we live. Mmm. Why do I feel so sensitive today? Every day on this trip, except for a few days, have been really good. Today I don't feel good. Yesterday I felt bad too. Why do I feel so sad? really miss Orland and I just want to go home. I feel like I'm eating my feelings right now. And I am getting fat. Ugh. Just water weight. Oh my god, it's extreme. And you guys know me, I can't I can't fake it. I can't force it. I'm not going to sit here and be like, hi, little sloths. If I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling down, I'm going to show you. And I kind of, it started with my mom and it's really not even about that. I think I'm just, I want to go home. I miss being touched. I miss having someone snuggle with me. I miss seeing his smile. And even even though his laugh gets on my nerves all the time, I really miss it. Even though when I'm there, I'm like, stop laughing. Not everything is funny in life. He laughs about everything. It annoys me so much, and now I miss it. I don't even... I don't even know. <sighs> I just want to go home. My home. Not here. My home. 